the University footbridge was designed in 1928 by the South Australian Railways Department to provide convenient access to the University of Adelaide, but construction was delayed by the Depression until 1937 when a philanthropy benefactor and local council funds facilitated. Believed to the first welded steel bridge in South Australia, the balanced cantilever construction for the bridge involved two identical halves assembled off-site and delivered to site, meeting at an apex and joined by two lateral shear locks to prevent sideways movement. Featuring a main internal arching span of 46 meters, each of the fabricated halves support a concrete deck and pivot on two twin bearings welded on large concrete blocks built as counterweights each requiring six piles driven 32 feet to 40 feet into the ground. A university student folklore says a prank occurred in 1971 where an old F.J. Holden was suspended under bridge attached to hand-operated crane pushed out to the center of the deck, essentially proof load testing the structure with a 6 meters clearance over the river torrents. With a total length of 73 meters, the university footbridge features two wrought iron lamp standards at each approach that integrate with delicate wrought iron balustrading and railing that became increasingly popular for placing padlocks for personal keepsakes from 2013. To much dismay, the local council had over 1,000 locks relocated or removed, wrongly blamed on ensuring structural integrity, although it had a historical proof load test, but was rather to prevent injury to pedestrians and cyclists at the narrow 2.13 meters wide bridge services. The university footbridge features an iconic green color that was last repainted in 2012.